inclusion in art in Oklahoma City putting together this show. I want to thank everybody. Inclusion in Art was founded by I and a couple of other artists. McGillicuddy. McGill. Included in this exhibit, Skip Hill. We have to make it less intimidating. Suzanne Thomas. And if I don't paint these women, who's going Rory Littleton. I am a homosexual. My name is Rory. I am gay. <laughs> Brenna King. I'm biracial, so they call me point .5. And Nathan Lee. This is a movement, and it will be sustained. Nathan has this very cool room. A lot of underserved communities. There aren't a lot of outlets and artistic vehicles for people of color within the arts. There are resources for artists of all colors. We want to make those artists aware of that. Inclusion in art. Let me, let me rewind that. Give you a little bit of background. We created to promote racial diversity within the arts. We want to make the galleries and the institutions that, that can assist them be enriched by their presence. We want to make them aware of those artists' existence. All right, man, I can't come over. I got to work. Kind of force the artists to extend themselves and to connect with one another. Well, I'm yours. Just playing out there, man. <laughs> there are artists who can add to our artistic landscape. Two minutes. There is an idea of what black art is, and we wanted to transcend that. So this is the third presentation of hopefully an ongoing series of, of exhibitions to bring light to artists of color in Oklahoma. We wanted to bring several different visions of the black experience as far as uh, the arts was concerned. I think that diversity is also indicative of black culture. And I think this is a great window into the way we perceive things. And I also think it's a good, it's a good introduction uh, for the art community to see a group of people who, you know, had been kind of on the outer fringes, just as competent, just as creative, just as kick butt. I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest, you know. Looking at the crowd here, this is really what I've been gunning for with inclusion in art. So many races and backgrounds and you know, hair types are starting with dreadlocks. <laughs> they won't quite take what we're trying to get to. <laughs> so, the feeling of unity that, that's created through art, I, I don't think um, any other vehicle is as effective or as uniting as art. I'm about to go wild now. <laughs>